Okay, today we are going to review author's purpose. So when we're thinking about author's purpose, you guys have been taught PI. P, persuade. I, inform. E, entertain. But there's also a D. D is you're gonna describe something or like a how-to. So I'm going to explore each of these with you this week. Um, I'm going to start with two books that we've been reading. Last week, we read If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. And so we, uh, our skill that we practiced was cause and effect last week. What's the author's purpose, though? The author is Laura Jeff Numeroff. Why did she write this book? Is it to persuade you to do something? To just give you a bunch of information and facts? To entertain you with a fun story? Or like describing how to do something? This is just a fun story for entertainment purposes, okay? Typically, most fiction books are uh, for the purpose of entertaining. So this is just a fun book that's entertaining. So uh, the author, Laura, she wrote this book to entertain you, okay? I've also been reading Aliens Ate My Homework. This is a fiction book. I would say that the genre is probably science fiction because of the aliens, so there is a... Um, so it's a science fiction. And the purpose of this is to entertain you. It's just a fun story that you enjoy reading. I hope you're enjoying reading it. I'm enjoying reading this book because um, I enjoyed it 25 years ago and I'm still enjoying it today. So um, I just wanted to review uh, the E, what it means in the pied for author's purpose, entertain, okay? So just remember, if it's just a fun fiction story, it's just for entertainment. Okay, tomorrow we will do some more stories and um, I'm going to go through each of these this week. So uh, you have an assignment today that are task cards and you have to write what the author's purpose of each task card is. Um, I want to go back to persuade. So remember that word persuade, what it means is that the author is trying to convince you to do something. They're trying to change your mind about something. They want to get you on their side. Like, you have to do this. Have you ever eaten a brownie cookie mix? It's called a brookie. You have to. It's the best thing ever. I promise you, you won't regret it. It's delicious. That would be persuading you to do something. Um, you have to read this book. This is the best book ever. You're going to love it. You won't want to put it down. And after you finish reading it, you're going to want to read it all over again. So that's persuading. That's what it means to persuade. The author is trying to convince you to do something, okay? Inform, remember, that's just lots of facts and information. Maybe it's a book about um, dinosaurs. It's giving you some information about fossils, where they're located, how some archeologists uh, dug them up and what tools they used. That would be uh, just providing information for you, okay? And then describe or how to. We have read stories before where it was describing maybe how to uh, create a paper airplane, how to create your own, how to cook your own potato chips from uh, fresh potatoes. So it's uh, giving you like a how to do something, a step by step. That's what um, the describer how to, that would be the purpose, okay? Okay, let me know if you have any questions. You can send me a message through Dojo um, and just stay tuned for more lessons. Have a good day.